toast to their career. The perfect combination, boy. Legends in the South. This is sports fans' only home for the hottest sports show around. These guys are on fire. You're now listening to KJ and Sean Mack. Thanks for tuning in, sports fans only. See Andy back with another video on deck. Andy Ruiz, upcoming fight this weekend versus Chris Ariola. I'm going to talk about the, if the fight and its transformation. I want to say both of these guys are very, very hungry to win. They both need the victory. It's a lot of respect on both sides. So um, I'll start with that. Chris Ariola, been around the block for a while. On the block, we all know him. Watched him fight probably 10, 12, possibly 15 years. True, um, true gentleman of the sport. He's um, 38 wins, 6 losses with 33 KOs. He's mingled it up, mixed it up with some of the best. Deontay Wilder. It's a long, long list. And um, this is, um, in my opinion, this is a must win for Chris because he's on the back end of his career. I think um, approaching 40, maybe 41. He's on the back end of victory with this one. Could possibly move him closer to title contention. But at minimum, he'll definitely get a bigger check, much bigger payday if he can defeat um, Andy. So his next fight will be very, very lucrative for him a little bit more. Andy Ruiz, what do we know? We remember the um, his last two fights with AJ. So um, the first fight with AJ was very, very exciting, especially I think it was the third round. They traded knockdowns. I think Ruiz went down first. Then that was followed up by two, two knockdowns. AJ hit the canvas twice in that fight. And we saw what happened later in the seventh, I think it was the seventh round. AJ retired in the corner. TKO looked a little bit gassed, looked a little bit confused. So and then in the second fight, you know, AJ, you could tell he tuned up, got back in shape. But he was very, um, he had his legs about him. And he, he looked like he was um, very, very focused on getting that victory and claiming back his throne, getting that belt back to the UK. And he did that. Um, and unanimous, you know, I, I think he might have lost, he might have lost one round in that fight. Um, it wasn't, you know, you know it would have been better with a knockout, but Andy was, it's hard to, um, it's hard to get out of there. I want to say back then, you know, Andy was probably touching around 300 on that scale. He's transformed his body and everything like that. No more of the Big Macs, the burgers, the shakes and stuff like that. He's floating around 250, 260 up in between there, kind of fluctuating. He's um, changed his diet, lost a lot of weight, great shape, ready to do battle. Also many improvements. He's, um... At some points throughout the training camp, he did hook up with Team Canelo. He got a lot sharper. He's, um, you know, um, I would say endurance training, stamina training. He's also putting together a lot of those um, knockout combos, the one, two, three, boom, 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 you out of there. Working on the foot speed. I want to say for a big guy, Andy already had hand speed, but now his hand speed is blazing. It's very, very quick. You don't want to um, get in a close exchange with him because he can deliver those punches, turn that right hand over quicker than most. So that's something that we're going to look at in this fight. The counter-punching combos are there also, um, you know, slipping that jab, throwing that right that right, um, right uppercut sort of to the, to, the, to the solar plexus down there in the midsection. So this also for him will be very, very big because this could definitely put him right back in title contention with a big win. Heavyweights looking interesting right now. There's White, there's... Um, Wilder, Fury, AJ about to do his thing. You got Tyson out there talking a lot of stuff also. Who's also, um, he's exciting to watch. So with Andy, this is going to be a good fight for him. Um, he's definitely transformed. He looks like a, a wrecking machine now compared to what he looked like before. It was like a state puff from back in Ghostbusters back in the days. That um, You can see the, the determination there. And when I talk about the respect on both sides, they're approaching this as gentlemen to get the clash in. Ruiz, I would say, um, on his feet now, he's going to be moving a lot quicker. And I want to say this also, Chris Ariola, he's he's not going to lay down. This is a fight for him. You know, throughout the years, he's he's been hit by the heavy punches. So I think I still think he's going to be knocked out. But I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if it's a closer fight than many think. But this right here is the fight we need a knockout from Andy, and he'll definitely be one of the top heavyweights right then. Like I said, and um, 
just I want to give a shout out to him and his team. And also, though, you can see the work with Team Reynoso and the Canelo team has did for him. Big, big improvements. And I would say he looks like one of the most focused fighters in the game. So everybody's going to be stay tuned. That's going to be um, the first going to be Saturday night. I forgot where the venue is going to be, but it's going to have a lot of implications on the future of the heavyweight division. Then we're going to be looking forward to possibly, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on, possibly the, tri the trilogy with Deontay Wilder. And I, I would like to say, um, no matter what happens, at some point throughout the heavyweights, I would like to see, no matter if it's for a title or not, I would definitely like to see Ruiz versus Wilder at some point. I think it's great. You know, Mexico, United States, Mexico stand up, Ruiz on deck, California kid. And um, shouts out to them. I'm going to leave it right there. I'll see you all back coming up soon and, uh, with a recap on this fight. Thanks for tuning in, sports fans only. Peace.